Good morning, everybody. I'm Dave Warren, and welcome to the uh, Friday morning warm up. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube and would like the sheet music for these exercises, please leave a, a comment below or send me an email stating whether it's for B flat instruments, E flat concert, or ukulele. Let me just put onto the screen the rhythm. It's only a, a two beat rhythm this time, doesn't mean it's any easier. And uh, there it goes. It's a rhythm called the tombow, and it's often played by bass players um, participating in Cuban style music. And what um, I'm going to do is I put the metronome on to um, about uh, what do I normally do? Walking sort of speed. I'm not walking so fast these days, so I'll slow it down to 110. That'll do. And then um, we're going to clap the top line four times and then the line underneath uh, four times and we'll just alternate between the two. Um, if you're feeling clever, you could always do it the other way around because these two patterns do interlock with each other. So if I'm playing the tombow rhythm on top, you could be clapping the son clave underneath and uh, we should be in sync. I'll have the metronome going to keep us on the beat. You'll hear a little ding from the metronome on beat one to help you um, reference where you should be at any one time. So we'll start with four of the top. Notice there's a, a, a one, two at the beginning of a rest and I'll count one, two there. So here we go. Um, I'm not gonna, you can clap, um, stamp your feet as well at the same time, but that just might be one too many, one too many things to do. So um, stomp your feet if you like in time to the metronome. After four, we'll start with the top one. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, and 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 three, four, and three, four, now the other one, one, two, three, four, two, and three, four, two, three. Back to the first one, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Second one, one, two, three, four. Back to the first one, one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Last time. We're on the last line there, sorry. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, there's a little clapping rhythm to get us going and um, start to physically warm us up. So now it's time to warm up the instruments a little bit. Um, just let me grab my guitar. And uh, if you'd like to get your instruments ready, um, the scale of the day is concert D harmonic minor, D, D, D. So um, I'm going to be playing the note D. And I'm just going to pluck away and just to start getting my fingers moving. If you've got a wind instrument, then blow some long notes. If you've got a piano or a guitar, then perhaps play some very fast trills of some sort. And uh, anything that just gets your fingers moving and the instrument uh, a little bit more warmed up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Okay, just coming to the end there. Last note. And there we have it. Right, good. Okay, it's got some air into our instruments or uh, got some vibrations going. Um, okay, we're going to do the chromatic scale now and we're going to start on concert D. Um, this time we're going to do it slightly different to last time. We're going to play the concert D first, go up a semitone, and then come back down to the original first note, and then repeat that a semitone higher. Okay, so it's like the reverse of what we did last time. So it will be D up to E flat, and back to D, then up to E flat, up to E, and back to E flat. Okay, good. And we'll do that all the way from the, the low D to the high D uh, with a metronome as well. Here we go. And it's going to be dun dun. These will be crotchets. One, two, three, four. Dun, dun. Last one coming up, here we go. Okay, let's do that again. So exactly the same, back to the low concert D. One, two, three, four. Last time. Last one. There we go. Good, good, good. And just to finish off, we'll just play the um, chromatic scale from D up to the octave D and, and all the way back down again. Um, this time a little bit faster, uh, but just the single notes. No going up and down in little semitone segments. Just straight up the... Um, just a smidgen faster. Um, so we're going to go all the way up from the D up to the next D and then come straight down again without repeating the top note. So one octave up and straight down. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And down. And just for the fun of it, because we can, let's just play that a little bit faster for the final time. Exactly the same again, but just a bit quicker. That speed. One, two, three, four. And finished. Right, there's the uh, chromatic scale. Okay, we're going to move on there to the sheet, the exercise sheet. So if you'd like to get that up on your screens and um, or, or the printout, get the printout out. I'll put on the concert version on the screen. And as I said last time, um, if your instrument doesn't um, cover the range or if your, your uh, technique doesn't cover the range of two octaves, because that doesn't always, it's not always easy on a on certain instruments then just repeat the octave which is more straightforward for you out of the two i think on the ukulele one because it gets very high on the harmonic minor i've left out the um the high octave so you're just getting the lower one repeated 
Um, okay, so we're just going to um, do the top line um, bar by bar and the first bar of D harmonic minor. So E harmonic minor for the B flat instruments and B harmonic minor for the E flat instruments. Uh, we're just going to do that first octave. So let me set the metronome and uh, okay, are we ready? Just the first octave. Just going to play that straight. One and I've got me counting wrong there. Um, slow it down slightly, yeah. One and two and three and four and. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to move on to bar two. So this is the same uh, scale, but just an octave higher. Um, or just repeat the same octave you've just played if you want to. So here we go. Second bar only, just once. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Right, let's put those two together. So we're now going to play bars one and two, um, just as written, and uh, then stop at the end of the second bar. So uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just notice the way I've written it that you're going to repeat that note D in the middle there. So uh, normally when you're playing a two octaves range, you would just go straight to the top. But because we've split them this way for practical reasons, uh, you will play that middle note twice. So, uh, okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> time one two three four okay let's move on to the descending scale so now pick your chosen octave we'll have a go at the high one first so we're going to do the bar three on the top line um, and Okay, I'm going to do bar three, just three, just once. One, two, three, four. And again, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Um, okay. Hope, hope everything is going well so far and uh, let's do the fourth bar now so the lower octave one two three four two three four Now we've got the two descending octaves now, so how about we play them one after the other? So we're going to be playing uh, bars three and four just once, top down to the bottom, two octaves. After four. Two, three, four. To four, same again. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
Right, so far so good, I hope. Um, now we're going to just play all the way from left to right, right across the screen, all four bars. How about that? Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> doing well so far we're just gonna do it one more time then we'll move on two three four and there we have it the sound of the harmonic minor uh, the D harmonic minor in this case concert D Okay, let's move on to the second line on the sheet. And uh, this is simply the minor arpeggio of the D minor chord. Just a plain D minor triad, um, just an arpeggio of that. So let's play the whole thing left to right. And uh, again, just pick your octave if you just got a limited range on it. Uh, but we're just going to play all four bars from left to right uh, and a smidgen faster because we're on crotchets now so we can do it a little bit faster so really if you're looking at intervals um, each bar uh, in the first half is going the root the third the fifth and the octave root third fifth octave and then it's in reverse for the third and fourth bars so it's octave fifth third root octave fifth third root in terms of the uh, intervals within the chord itself so okay so this is just a straightforward root inversion um, arpeggio after four one two three four <laughs> oh sorry I didn't come down haha <laughs> just did the two let me do that again um, some of you just finished the whole thing uh, all four bars, I'm telling myself. All four bars, remember. One, two, three, four. It's more like it. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. And that's the D minor arpeggio. And all an arpeggio really is is just a, um, a broken down chord. Um, somebody once said that an arpeggio is a melted chord and a chord is a frozen arpeggio. Now we're going to move on to the uh, third line and look at the scale now in descending intervals. So we're going to start with the high uh, concert D down to the seventh, which means just down a semitone in the case of this scale. And then down minor third to the... Um, sixth and so on so it's just like you're working our way down the scale this time um, and ending up on the, the low D so we're just going to read across left to right what on the third line one two three four Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. And one more time after four. Two, three, four. There we go. Right, so that's the uh, D harmonic minor scale. 
Um, okay, we're on to the rhythmic patterns now based on um, well, encompassing this minor third, this descending minor third. And um, I've had a whole host, a whole plethora of suggestions of songs which start on a descending minor third. So I'm quickly going to call them out. Um, first of all, George came up with the sussy theme, the original sussy theme. Uh, goodness me, I think I'd... Something like that, that one. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, you're right, the sooty theme. Uh, Kay came up with this old man. This old man. Da -da 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 -da. Julie suggested Colonel Bogey. That's for people who like whistling. <whistles> and so on. Um, Chris uh, put forward the Star Spangled Banner. Da -da 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 -da. Um, I shouldn't um, be really singing them, should I? Um, in case I'm not singing a minor third. So these are all songs which start on a descending minor third, which is what this, these patterns are on. Uh, Jeff came up with um, Oh What A Beautiful Morning. Not really appropriate for today, but good suggestion. That's uh, from Oklahoma. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Um, and also Hey Jude, which I think is probably my preferred one. And Romany suggested Misty. Um, da da da. That one. The first two are the, uh, the minor third interval. So there's a number of songs there to choose from to help you recognize a minor third when you hear it. Right, let's do the first, um, first uh, rhythmic phrase, which is the simple crotchets. I've put some ties over the top, some slurs for anyone who wants to um, use tonguing. Uh, slurring rather than tonguing on their instrument or hammering on, on and off. I noticed uh, with guitars and ukulele, it's a little bit ha hard to hammer a three fret distance. So you can just pluck them if you want um, or just slide up and down. But um, OK, let's just do the first bar anyway. Let's talk more play. Uh, so we're doing the first bar, just those four crotchets and just really just good example of the interval of uh, a minor third, descending minor third on the first interval. Here we go. One, two, three. Four. Keep going, we'll just keep playing that. Uh, but do put in the um, slur notes if you can. And I think that's enough of that one. Okay, that's the uh, first bar. Let's move on to the um, second bar now and um, the little slur there on the uh, second pair of notes. So um, let's just play it once just to get that right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now let's loop it. So just go around the second bar. Two, three, four. One more time. Um, okay, moving on to the third bar now, and uh, let's play that once just to get that rhythm uh, into our fingers and other parts of our body and uh, into our heads as well. And the, probably the best way to get any of these tunes, if you call them tunes, rhythms into your head is actually to sing them. If you can't sing at the same time, sing them beforehand over and over until it's really ensconced in your brain and then when it comes to play it suddenly becomes a lot easier to actually um, come out with the correct uh, tune and rhythm. So let's just play that third um, pattern just once first of all. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
last two are on the offbeat. Not sure what that little tie symbol is from the third note, but ignore that. Let's loop that third bar. One, two, three, four. There we go, that's the third bar. Let's move on to the fourth bar. And a little triplet there. Well, actually, it's two triplets, except the second one's got a rest in the middle, which gives it that sort of duh duh sort of sound. So, diddly da da dum. Um, okay, so we're doing the fourth bar. Just play it once. One, two, three, four. Okay, on to the last line, and we've got this little rhythm in the first bar of the bottom line. Um, it's not quite as tricky as it looks once you worked out what it is. It's actually the 3 2 son clave crammed into one bar. Da, 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 da. Uh, so, um, de, do, 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 do. one, two, three, four. Loop it. One, two, three, four. Crotchets at the end of this one. Da, do, do, do. Just play it once. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now we'll loop it. Three, four. Right, on to the last two. This is a pair now, so we're going to play both bars three and four as a little two-bar rhythm. Uh, this is a Cascara-style rhythm, uh, which is a, the uh, those of you that have been uh, coming to this for the last few weeks will know it's the um, sort of the, the Cascara is the shell of a, a drum, and it's often played by the drummer on the side of the drum on the shell, this rhythm, uh, although we've applied notes to it, so given it a tune. Um, but actually, that's where a lot of Montunos come from. They take a cascara rhythm and they put uh, melodies to it, often arpeggios, to produce the Montunos that you hear in a lot of um, Cuban and salsa dance music. Anyone who goes salsa dancing will have heard all this stuff a lot more than I have. So uh, anyway, we're going to play the... Let's just play it once. Um, bars three and four of the bottom line. Okay, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, ba. One more time. 
One, two, three, four. Now we're going to loop it. One, two, three, four. One more time. Should we just have a go at doing that quickly? Um, not ever so quickly, but um, I mean, it's a very on and off beat sort of rhythmic um, pattern, which, um, oh, let's try that. <laughs> Here we go. Just loop that last three, two bars. One, two, three, four. Last time. Right. Good, good, good. They're the exercises. Um, we better move on because uh, we're overrunning here slightly. So uh, apologies if um, your entire day has to be put back by seven minutes. I hope that's not disruptive. Um, I'm going to put onto the screen now the chords for the uh, final strum along. And... Um, OK, we've got uh, eight bars of chords there and uh, I'm, I'm going to strum the top lot as usual and you can play your chord tones or arpeggios or strum along with me or um, improvise, make up some little melodies and solos uh, by using the harmonic minor scale that we... Um, these are all built from the harmonic minor scale, the D harmonics minor scale that we did earlier. So if you want to use that to improvise over these chords, that should sound good. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And back to the top. Three, four. Dun, dun, dun. One more time, all the way around. Here we go. Finish on the D minor and... And there we go. That's uh, today's Friday morning warm-up. As always, thank you very much, everybody, for coming along. Uh, maybe see some of you on Sunday at 4 o'clock on Freddy Freeloader's Jazz Jam. If you can join in on that. If you don't know about it, let me know and I'll email you the details. Uh, let's get this off the screen and um, say hello to all of you and goodbye at the same time. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank and you very uh, much, it's been a nice crowd everybody. today. Take care. Thank you Good. very much. Have a great Bye, Chris. Bye. 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 Bye.